Okay, I am partway through doing a demo of turning a record into a pick guard. Uh, the final one, I was trying to find an album at like a thrift store or something that was like rock and roll, but was also in terrible shape, so I'd get it for really cheap. I had trouble finding anything like that, but I did manage to get the doors for only $7, so I thought that was worth turning into a pit guard, but uh, that's not who gets the practice round. <laughs> so, what I did here, I started with ye old exacto knife, have this actual Stratocaster pit guard. I placed it over here. Let's see if you can see any outline. I, you know, I trace the outline onto the record, and up here you can see how it kind of comes to the point. And the actual tip of the pit guard would have been off. I don't need that part of the pit guard for what I'm doing. Then it comes down and across through here. There's where the pickups are going to go. You can see that. Well, I got this guy right here. This little tap. I, I put that through each of the holes when it was on top of the record and just uh, tapped it with ye old trusty rubber mallet. So I've got all the little holes where the screws are going to go. Um, so after I had the outline, I put this little wheel here in my Dremel to do the cutting. I gotta be honest with you, it seems like it's doing melting as much as it's doing cutting. But the work is, it gets through it. And you don't want to go right up to the line. You see there's some line there. You want to get close. But you want to make sure you don't get all the way to it. Because then I got this grinder right here on the Dremel. That's taking it the rest of the way. And if you look. Yeah, right in here. I've taken this part all the way up to the line. Then there's going to be some sanding to take care of the fine tuning there. But uh, this practice round ain't going too bad. I practiced on a $1 album in case things go awry. I think that's going to come out looking decent. And uh, if need be, I could spray paint over that and use it. And uh, no one would be any the wiser. So I will update more as this part of the project comes along. Uh, my black paint is still drying in there. And then you'll get to see uh, what that looks like once it gets all polished out and smooth. I've been doing some work on my test pick guard, which is a... Uh, I have learned some things on my demo one, but that being said, I don't think it came out too bad. The only reason I don't want it to be the final product is because it was just a cheap $1 record of no one of consequence. And I wanted to get something that was rock and roll, but had maybe been damaged a little so it wasn't playable. So I could get it at a good price. Initially, I went with <clears throat> this one right here. It was the closest I could find. It was only $7. But at the same time, you think about their hits, at least for me. You think of like Light My Fire, really keyboard-centric. And so it makes it a little weird on a guitar, even though these folks were pretty rock and roll. But so I went to another antique shop today and came up with an ACDC album. That's a lot more the kind of thing I was looking for. So going over to the pick guards here, You'll notice this is not apples to apples. This is because, as I have stated, I am trying to emulate the uh, Eddie Van Halen Frankenstrat, and his pit guard is actually pretty much just this part down here. It doesn't have any of that over there, but he also only has one working pickup. He's got a five-way selector switch that's stuck in there, and then rumor has it this is a dead pickup just taking up space there. I'm going to have three functioning pickups, so I want to also have the screw holes here to fix the pickups in place and allow you to adjust them up and down to adjust their distance from the strings. So I'm not going with only this, but I'm still going with a truncated version of the full Stratocaster pick guard. If nothing else, this full pick guard doesn't fully fit on a regular sized record album. So I had to truncate it regardless. I just didn't want to go as far as the Frankenstrat went with that. So this was carved out by putting this little wheel in my Dremel. It did some cutting. 
I've mentioned before, I think it did as much melting as it did cutting. Thusly the ventilator like I used with my painting. Um, then once that got as close to the lines as it could, I put this in the Dremel. It's a little grinding tool. And then I ground right up to the lines best I could. And then I polished it off with a little, what's this? 180 grit sandpaper. I'll probably go higher grit on the next one because it, it takes some tough sandpaper to start smoothing off the rough edges on one of those. So I saw another idea that I want to play with. Push these out of the way. See this guy here heating up? This is my wood burner. When I was uh, burning designs into wood, it also comes with an X-Acto knife attachment. And I had heard that might be really good for carving records. So here's a fragment that I have. I'm gonna pull my mask down, get my mask fastened. It's a little rough one-handed, but I'll get there. And there we go. Cool. Now it's already hot, and I'm just gonna to try to like do any random line here, see how it does. So I push a little bit. Oh, baby. Oh, how did that do? It looks good. Ah, yeah, there's... You can see a little scratch on the back there. That got most of the way through. I think I might be using this guy. I'm going to practice with it a little more. But I might be using that to do the actual cutting on the actual album. Looks like there's going to be less a chance of cracking, which I didn't have a problem with anyways, but that was just smooth and a perfectly straight line. Now if I need to curve a little, mm, I can't really hold it still. Let's see here, do a curve, come back the other way. So yeah, I want to be careful about that. One of the things they say about this when you're doing the wood burning is you want to make sure you go slow. And also once in a while, you might just have to stop for the blade to heat back up again. But yeah, that did pretty good. I'm gonna practice more with this before I go touch an ACDC with it. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here's what I got on my first try with the wood burner with the knife end on it. If you look at this, you can tell it's not perfect, but the, the cutting wheel wasn't perfect either. This guy right here. And where it got really hard was on the circles on the edges. It kind of got me in here and got me in here. And then it was really rough here and I had to grind out a lot. So what I think I might do is use the cutting wheel to get those straights. I'll use this guy to get as close as I can on the edges. And then I'll come in with the grinder to get right up to my lines. And then I'll sand it to get rid of the final rough spots. And I think that's how I'm gonna make my pick guide. This has been a presentation of Busby Productions. Ah!